In this episode of Texan Productions, we look at how useful a $60 video stabilizer really is, how to properly store any microphone, and how to sync your audio to your videos. Hey guys, Joseph here. Video stabilizers are becoming more popular now and everyone wants to get good stabilized shots. But how much do we really need to spend on a stabilizer? I went on Amazon and found a pretty cheap camera stabilizer with great reviews, the Roxon Pro Video Stabilizer. The stabilizer seems pretty high quality for its price and it took me around 20 minutes for me to you that your microphone will last longer with this tip. I'm always talking about how important good audio is, which is why most of us use an external microphone. However, using an external microphone means that we need to sync our audio to our video clip. But how exactly do we do that? The easiest way to do so is by clapping for each scene. You could also use the Clapperboard app from the App Store or make your own Clapperboard if you don't already have one. A clapperboard creates a loud clap which can be heard in the camera's microphone and the external microphone. We can see the loud spike in a video timeline. This way, we can match the audio spike from the camera's microphone to the external microphone. I usually clap three times so it's easier to match the audio clips or I use the clapperboard app which creates three beeps. After matching the audio clip, I mute the camera audio clip. I mute the camera's microphone clip and just use the external microphone. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Texan Productions. Oh dear, he's taking his clothes off. Oh dear, he's taking <laughs> Please kiss, please kiss, please kiss! Kiss her, you idiot! Oh my god, just kiss her. I have glasses on you. You son of a b-